Monkey brain wants banana. Monkey gets banana. Monkey feels good. But what happens when monkey gets too many bananas too easily? Monkey brain breaks. This is the dopamine trap, and every monkey on the planet is falling into it without even knowing. What if I told you that your brain operates exactly like a monkey chasing bananas, except the bananas keep getting easier to find and less satisfying to eat? What if the very thing that helped our ancestors survive is now destroying our ability to feel happy? Monkey discovers something shocking about dopamine that changes everything. Monkey lives in forest. Life is hard. Monkey must climb tall trees, fight other monkeys, and search for hours just to find one sweet banana. When monkey finally gets banana, brain releases dopamine. This chemical makes monkey feel amazing. Dopamine tells monkey brain this banana thing is important for survival. Remember this feeling. Do this again. But modern monkey lives very different life. Modern monkey sits in comfortable chair. Modern monkey presses button on magic rectangle. Instantly, dopamine banana appears on screen. No climbing required. No fighting required, no searching required, just press button, get dopamine banana, press button again, get another dopamine banana, press button faster, get bananas faster. Monkey brain evolved over millions of years, expecting bananas to be rare and difficult to obtain. When monkey finally found banana after hours of searching, the dopamine reward felt incredible because it was earned through effort and scarcity. This system worked perfectly when bananas were actually scarce. Monkey brain learned to value what was hard to get. Modern world flips this system upside down. Technology companies discovered how to hack monkey brain by creating artificial dopamine bananas that require zero effort. Social media notifications are dopamine bananas. Video game achievements are dopamine bananas. Online shopping purchases are dopamine bananas. Streaming service binges are dopamine bananas. All designed to be as easy as possible to obtain. Here's where the trap begins. When dopamine bananas become too easy to get, monkey brain starts expecting them constantly. The baseline level of dopamine in monkey brain rises higher and higher. What used to feel amazing now feels normal. What used to feel normal now feels boring. What used to feel boring now feels painful. Monkey needs more and more dopamine bananas just to feel okay. This is called tolerance. Same thing happens with actual bananas. If monkey eats one banana per week, that banana tastes incredible. If monkey eats 10 bananas per day, each banana becomes less special. Eventually, monkey needs 20 bananas just to feel the satisfaction that one banana used to provide. The dopamine trap works by hijacking the same brain pathways that helped monkeys survive for millions of years. Your brain cannot tell the difference between earning a banana through hard work and getting a notification on your phone. Both trigger dopamine release. Both make you want to repeat the behavior. But one builds strength and character, while the other creates dependency and emptiness. Technology companies employ teams of neuroscientists and behavioral psychologists, specifically to make their products more addictive. They study monkey brain dopamine patterns to design features that keep you pressing buttons for more artificial bananas. Variable reward schedules make the addiction stronger. Sometimes you get dopamine banana, sometimes you do not. This unpredictability makes monkey brain crave the next button press even more intensely. Social media platforms use infinite scroll to ensure the dopamine bananas never run out. Dating apps use artificial scarcity and matching algorithms to control when you receive dopamine rewards. Video games use progression systems and achievement unlocks to create steady streams of artificial accomplishment. Streaming services use cliffhangers and autoplay to prevent natural stopping points. Every notification sound is carefully engineered to trigger anticipation of a dopamine banana. Every colorful button is designed to look like the most appealing fruit in the forest. Every loading screen creates just enough delay to build excitement without causing abandonment. These companies understand monkey brain better than most monkeys understand themselves. The trap becomes complete when monkey realizes that real bananas no longer provide satisfaction. Reading an entire book feels impossibly slow 
compared to scrolling through bite-sized content pieces. Having a face-to-face -face conversation feels awkward compared to rapid-fire text exchanges. Completing a challenging project feels overwhelming compared to collecting digital rewards for minimal effort. Real achievements that used to bring deep satisfaction now feel boring because they cannot compete with the constant stream of artificial dopamine hits. Monkey brain becomes so accustomed to instant gratification that delayed gratification feels like torture. The patience required for meaningful accomplishments disappears completely. This creates a vicious cycle where monkey seeks more artificial dopamine to escape the emptiness caused by artificial dopamine. The more artificial bananas monkey consumes, the less satisfying real bananas become. The less satisfying real bananas become, the more artificial bananas monkey needs. Round and round the cycle spins, getting worse with each rotation. Monkey starts experiencing withdrawal symptoms when separated from dopamine delivery devices. Anxiety increases when phone battery dies. Panic sets in when internet connection fails. Boredom becomes unbearable without constant stimulation. These are the same symptoms experienced by monkeys addicted to actual drugs because the brain pathways involved are identical. The dopamine trap affects every area of monkey life. Relationships suffer because other monkeys cannot provide the same intensity of stimulation as artificial dopamine sources. Work performance declines because focusing on single tasks becomes nearly impossible when brain expects constant novelty. Sleep quality deteriorates because overstimulated brain cannot calm down naturally. Physical health deteriorates as monkey chooses artificial dopamine over exercise, proper nutrition, and adequate rest. Mental health suffers as monkey becomes increasingly dependent on external validation and instant gratification. The very systems designed to make life easier end up making life much more difficult and much less satisfying. But understanding the dopamine trap is the first step toward escaping it. Most monkeys do not even realize they are trapped. Monkey thinks constant banana availability is normal. Monkey thinks needing phone every few minutes is just modern life. Monkey thinks inability to sit quietly without stimulation is personality trait. But these are symptoms of dopamine dysregulation, not natural monkey behavior. Breaking free from dopamine trap requires monkey to understand how brain actually works. Dopamine is not reward chemical like most monkeys believe. Dopamine is wanting chemical. Dopamine creates desire for banana, not satisfaction from eating banana. The actual pleasure comes from different brain chemicals released when monkey achieves goal through effort. This explains why getting artificial dopamine banana feels good for only a few seconds before monkey wants another one. The wanting never stops because dopamine system never turns off when bananas are constantly available. Monkey brain stays in permanent state of craving without ever reaching satisfaction. Smart monkeys learn to manipulate their own dopamine systems instead of letting technology companies control them. First strategy is dopamine fasting. Monkey removes all artificial dopamine sources for specific time periods. No magic rectangles, no instant notifications, no easy entertainment. Brain initially protests loudly because it expects constant stimulation. During dopamine fast, monkey brain slowly recalibrates to normal baseline levels. What felt boring before starts feeling peaceful. What felt slow before starts feeling appropriately paced. What felt difficult before starts feeling like interesting challenge instead of impossible obstacle. Second strategy involves replacing artificial dopamine sources with natural ones that require effort. Instead of scrolling through pictures of bananas, monkey goes outside and climbs actual trees. Instead of watching other monkeys exercise on screens, monkey moves own body through space. Instead of consuming endless entertainment content, monkey creates something with own hands. Natural dopamine sources provide deeper and longer lasting satisfaction because they align with how monkey brain evolved to function. Completing challenging physical activity releases dopamine plus endorphins plus sense of genuine accomplishment. Learning difficult new skill creates dopamine pathway 
associated with real capability building. Third strategy focuses on retraining attention span through deliberate practice. Monkey chooses single task and commits to focusing only on that task for specific amount of time. No switching between activities, no multitasking, no allowing mind to wander to artificial dopamine sources. This feels uncomfortable at first because scattered attention has become default mode. Meditation serves as a tension training exercise where monkey practices observing thoughts without acting on them. When brain demands artificial dopamine banana, monkey notices the craving but does not satisfy it immediately. This builds mental muscle for resisting impulses and staying focused on chosen activities. Fourth strategy involves redesigning environment to support natural dopamine patterns. Monkey removes tempting artificial banana sources from immediate surroundings. Magic rectangles go in different room during focused work time. Notification sounds get turned off completely. Apps designed to capture attention get deleted or hidden. Monkey replaces artificial stimulation with environmental cues that promote natural behaviors. Books become easily accessible while entertainment devices require extra steps to use. Healthy food stays visible, while processed snacks get stored out of sight. Exercise equipment gets placed where monkey will see it regularly. Creating friction between monkey and artificial dopamine sources gives brain time to make conscious choices instead of automatic responses. When accessing artificial banana requires multiple deliberate steps, monkey often chooses different activity that provides more genuine satisfaction. Fifth strategy focuses on rebuilding natural reward sensitivity through progressive challenges. Monkey starts with small, difficult tasks that provide real accomplishment when completed. Finishing entire book without distraction becomes achievement worth celebrating. Having phone-free conversation for extended period becomes meaningful milestone. As natural dopamine sensitivity returns, Monkey discovers that real achievements feel much better than artificial ones ever did. Completing creative project provides weeks of satisfaction compared to minutes from social media likes. Developing genuine skill creates lasting confidence compared to temporary validation from online interactions. The journey out of dopamine trap takes patience because brain needs time to rewire itself back to natural patterns. Monkey cannot expect instant results when trying to reverse years of artificial stimulation conditioning. Progress happens gradually as brain learns to find satisfaction in effort-based activities again. Some monkeys worry that escaping dopamine trap means giving up all modern conveniences and living like forest monkey. This is not necessary. The goal is conscious relationship with technology instead of unconscious addiction to it. Monkey can use helpful tools without becoming dependent on artificial dopamine delivery systems. Successful escape requires understanding that temporary discomfort of withdrawal leads to permanent improvement in life quality. The anxiety and boredom felt during dopamine fasting are not permanent states. They are brain adjusting back to natural functioning after artificial overstimulation. Recovery timeline varies between individual monkeys, but most notice significant improvements within few weeks of reducing artificial dopamine exposure. Sleep improves first, as overstimulated brain learns to calm down naturally. Focus and attention span increase gradually as scattered thinking patterns reorganize themselves. Most importantly, monkey rediscovers ability to feel genuine satisfaction from meaningful activities. Real bananas start tasting good again when artificial ones are not constantly available for comparison. So monkey has choice. Stay trapped in endless cycle of artificial bananas that never truly satisfy, or climb out of the dopamine trap and rediscover what real satisfaction feels like. The path is not easy, but it is simple. Remove artificial dopamine sources, embrace natural challenges, and give brain time to remember how good life feels when bananas are earned instead of given. Every monkey watching this video right now can start today. Put down the magic rectangle for one hour,
and notice what happens. Feel the discomfort, observe the cravings, but do not give in. This is your brain healing itself. This is you taking back control from companies that profit from your addiction. Remember, monkey brain evolved to find rare bananas after great effort. When you honor this design instead of fighting it, life becomes deeply satisfying again. Real bananas taste incredible when you stop eating artificial ones. Real accomplishments feel amazing when you stop collecting fake achievements. The dopamine trap convinced you that happiness comes from getting more bananas faster. But true happiness comes from appreciating the bananas you earn through genuine effort. Monkey, who understands this secret, lives rich life full of real satisfaction. You are not broken. You are not weak. You are Monkey, whose ancient survival system got hijacked by modern technology. Now you know how the trap works, and you know how to escape. Monkey is all of us.